Hello and welcome to another question and answer session brought to you by Path to the Just Ministry. In this question and answer period, we're going to look at the 2520. We're going to begin to look at the quotation found in Great Controversy page 351 concerning the longest and last prophetic period brought to view in the Bible. Let us read this quotation. The experience of the disciples who preached the gospel of the kingdom at the first advent of Christ had its counterpart in the experience of those who proclaimed the message of his second advent. As the disciples went out preaching, the time is fulfilled, the kingdom of God is at hand. So Miller and his associates proclaimed that the longest and last prophetic period brought to view in the Bible is about to expire, that the judgment was at hand, and the everlasting kingdom was to be ushered in. The preaching of the disciples in regard to time was based on the 70 weeks of Daniel 9. The message given by Miller and his associates announced the termination of the 2300 days of Daniel 8, 14, of which the 70 weeks form a part. The preaching of each was based upon the fulfillment of a different portion of the same great prophetic period. So I want you to notice that she's comparing the preaching of the 70 weeks of Daniel 9 by the disciples and as well as the 2300 days preached by the Millerites. When we look at this quotation, it may appear on the surface to seem that Sister White is saying that the 2300 days is the longest and last prophetic period brought to view in the Bible, but she's actually comparing the 70 weeks as well as the 2300 days to a greater prophetic period brought to view in the Bible. In fact, reading that last portion again, it says the preaching of each, speaking about the 70 weeks and the 2300 days, was based upon the fulfillment of a different portion of the same great prophetic period. And so the 70 weeks, and as well as the 2300 days, is a part of the greater prophetic period of the 2520. Now, when we consider Habakkuk chapter 2, verses 2 and 3, we're going to find that there's a reason why the 2520 must be the last and longest prophetic view brought in the Bible prophecies of the book of Daniel, as well as in the book of Revelation and in Leviticus chapter 26. When we consider and look at Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 2 and 3, it says, And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Now, when we look at this word vision here, it is uh, translated in the original calzone. And the calzone vision is the complete uh, vision of prophetic history, dealing with the rise and fall of the kingdoms of Bible prophecy. When we look at the vision that Habakkuk is describing here, it's the complete vision, but also it's the vision that has to deal with the tearing time or the appointed time. And of course, we realize that the vision that was to tarry for an appointed time, but that at the end it shall speak and not lie, was the 2300 days. When we look in Daniel chapter 8, verse 26, we're going to see the word vision here being spoken of and that there's actually two visions that Daniel describes. There is a cow's own vision and as well as there is a mare vision. Now, the mare vision has to deal with Christ's work in the heavenly sanctuary as our high priest, uh, finishing up uh, the day of atonement, the investigative judgment, the blotting out of sins, which is the vision concerning the sanctuary, the 2300 days. But when we look at the cow's own vision, this is the entire vision of prophetic history. Daniel chapter 8 verse 26 says, And the vision of the evening and the morning which was told is true. Wherefore shut thou up the vision, for it shall be for many days. Now on the surface it may seem as though this word vision is dealing with the same uh, vision or it's teaching um, the same uh, prophetic subject here, but when we look at it closely, it says the vision of the evening and the morning is true. We realize that that's Daniel 8.14. That's the Mari vision concerning Christ's work in the heavenly sanctuary of the most holy place. But we also have another word vision, which is shut up because it would be for many days. This is the complete or entire vision of prophetic history. Now, we realize that the 2300 days, this begins in Daniel chapter 8 with the uh, ram and the he goat and also the little horn. So we know that the starting point of the 2300 days is 457 BC. This begins in the time of the Medes and the Persians. And of course, that prophecy of the 2300 days ends in 1844. 
But now, where do we have Babylon as the first kingdom of Bible prophecy uh, being included in the vision of the 23 days? We do not. It starts with the Medes and the Persians. Now, what time prophecy covers not only uh, Medo-Persia, Greece, pagan Rome, and papal Rome, but also Babylon included? Now, this is the Cal's own vision or the complete and entire vision of prophetic history, which is dealing with the 2520. The 2520, when we look on the 1843 chart as well as the 1850 chart, starts with 677 uh, with the head of gold and as well as with the line with eagle's wings. From 677 all the way to 1844, this is the complete or the entire vision. So the 2300 days only embraces the Medo-Persian kingdom all the way till uh, Papal Rome. And then we have the investigative judgment coming in 1844, but the Cal's own vision or the complete vision in which, of course, we know that Bible prophecy starts with Babylon. This is 677 B.C. So the only time prophecy that embraces all the kingdoms, all the nations that uh, actually um, Israel was scattered among is the 2520. Uh, the 2300 days only covers the Mari vision, which begins in the time of the Medes and also the Persians. We're going to continue to deal with the 2520, but we're going to look at other aspects um, of this question. In our next uh, video presentation, we're going to look at the uh, apparent silence of Mrs. White on the subject of the 2520 in her writings. We do hope that this has helped to answer um, your question concerning Great Controversy 351, and as always, we hope that your eyes have been enlightened as you've tasted a little of this honey.